May we call on the Batangas Second District Engineering Office. Receiving the award is District Engineer Sonia D. Paglikawan of Batangas Second District Engineering Office. Next awardee, the first runner-up is Pangasinan Second District Engineering Office. Receiving the award is Pangasinan Second District Engineering Office District Engineer Edita Manuel. And the most outstanding District Engineering Office is Pangasinan Fourth District Engineering Office. Receiving the award is Region 1 Assistant Regional Director Matias El Malinab, who is the concurrent District Engineer of Batang Pangasinan Fourth District Engineering Office. For the most outstanding regional office, congratulations to the DPWH Regional Office Number no. One. Receiving the award is DPWH Region 1 Director, Ronel M. Tan. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Once again, congratulations to all the recipients of the 125th anniversary, most outstanding DPWH Regional Office and District Engineering Office awardees. And now, May we call on Secretary Manuel M. Bonoan to introduce our guest of honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos, Jr. Maraming salamat. Thank you very much to uh, Secretary Manny Bunuan for your introduction. Please, uh, please take your seats. The uh, Senior Undersecretary, Emil Sadayan, and the other officials and staff of the Department of Public Works and Highways, my fellow workers in government, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. I am, of course, very glad to be here with you to celebrate the 125th founding anniversary of the Department of Public Works and Highways. Uh, it originally started as a Department of War and Highways. But you can see that uh, the importance that our, our uh, founding fathers, uh, who founded the, in fact, the, the first secretary was the uh, uh, cousin of Emilio Aguinaldo. Uh, in other words, dinagay niya sa kamay ng trusted na trusted niya dahil maliwanag naman sa kahit na sino na namumuno. Kapag pagagandahin natin ang uh, ating bansa, eh, kailangan talaga yung infrastructure. That uh, is a basic element. So that is, that's why, that is why you have a long and celebrated history stretching back many centuries. The, sen the department's accomplishments have not only changed our landscapes, but defined our society as a whole. From the majestic government buildings, the large projects such as dams and irrigation systems, bridges, highways connecting our many islands, the public works has been at the front and center of the planning and construction of it all. It has also been responsible for building flagship projects such as San Juanico Bridge, Cultural Center of the Philippines. Baka naman sabihin nila, pangkansada lang at saka tulay ang uh, the Department of Public Works. Tignan naman ninyo, award-winning yung Cultural Center. Uh, tapos hindi lamang yun, yung inyong ginawa ng mga ospital uh, na sinimulaan ng uh, aking, uh, aking nung First Lady noon, First Lady Imelda, ay sinimula niya lahat ng mga ospital, na specialty hospital at uh, ang DPWH din ang uh, nagtayo lahat niyan. Kaya uh, kuminsan ay hindi na nalalaman 
na ang taong bayan, akala nga nila lahat, kasi pag inisip public works, public works and highways, yan, tulay yan at saka, ano, at saka highway. Uh, kailangan malaman ng tao na hindi lamang yun, na kahit na sa mga social projects, na yun, sa, hindi mo sasabing infrastructure project, pero nagtatayo nga ng ospital, uh, naglalagay nga ng mga cultural center, ay nakita ninyo, sa buong buhay at uh, kasaysayan ng Pilipino, nasa gitna lagi ang Department of Public Works. Meron pa, yung pang nabanggit ni Sekmane, yung Pan-Philippine Highway na galing lawag sa Ilocos Norte hanggang Samwanga na konekta. That everything was connected and brought Filipinos even closer together. So these are just a few in a very long list of accomplishments that the DPWH has built over the course of one and a quarter century. You should be proud, for each of you has contributed not only to the building of these structures, but to the building of the nation as a whole. With these achievements in mind, I express my warmest gratitude to all the officials and employees who work in the department and the attached agencies and bureaus for serving the Filipino people faithfully for these 125 years. It is an example to all of us that uh, through your dedication and industry, that we now have structures that produce opportunities, facilitate commerce, increase mobility, and protect the lives of our people. I also extend my special congratulations to the awardees we recognize today for exemplifying the core values of the department and for leaving an indelible mark in our society and among the people whom they serve. Yung lamang naman, parang napagpuna ko, parang kilala ko lahat yung mga duman dito ng yun. May home to, si Yusek Pipo, tawa ng tawa, alam niyo. Uh, the, but I suppose, uh, I, I suppose kasi marami kami talaga kan binibigay na trabaho sa kanila. And they have served well. So I congratulate them for all their hard work. Now, it will not only be in specific parts. At nakita naman natin dun sa video na napakarami, napakadaming malalaking proyekto na ating gagawin ngayon. Uh, and uh, uh, Sekmani mentioned it, the golden, the golden uh, age of infrastructure. Well, hindi naman na, hindi pa naman, huwag natin patapusin yung golden age of infrastructure. Ipagpatuloy natin ang golden age of infrastructure ngayon dahil naman kailangan na kailangan ng ating mga kababayan. So to the awardees and to all of uh, the uh, uh, members of the Department of Public Works and Highways, I hope your example will inspire your colleagues and the new generation of public workers to follow your lead, build on your legacy, and work for the benefit of the Filipino people. So as we celebrate this milestone, it continues to be my hope that everyone in the Department of Public Works will remain steadfast in its mandate as well as stay committed to fulfilling this administration's eight-point socioeconomic agenda by committing to construct and finish critical infrastructure projects on time, on schedule, and under budget. In line with this, I urge you to continue streamlining your procedures, preventing delays in costs and overruns, and enforcing transparency measures in all government projects and transactions. You are not alone in this. The entire government is there working with you to uh, bring the synergies that we can bring together to make the government more efficient, to make the bureaucracy more modern, more aware of all the new technologies and techniques that are available to us that we can use to our benefit. So let us work on that together because what we have initiated is something that I am sure you have heard before. And uh, it is not solely, we talk to the Department of Public Works, we talk to the uh, uh, Department of Tourism, we talk to uh, the Department of Education, na yan lang. We are trying to put together a system that will work and will help each other. And so always remember this. Not always, despite the fact that I will probably say that any joint project, the Department of Public Works will be the lead uh, department for the simple reason that you are the largest. <laughs> 
but there are there are many agencies and uh, and there of course are all the other departments and for that matter my own office are there behind you to support you to make all that we undertake a success <laughs> at this point it is prob probably a good moment to shift the focus now beyond just physical infrastructure and embrace the concept of inclusive and accessible design. Acknowledge the needs of all individuals, including people with disabilities, pregnant women, the old, elderly, the very young. Incorporate elements of our culture and history into our infrastructure designs to foster a sense of pride and belonging amongst our communities. We will harness the power of technological advancements and innovations in the development of our infrastructure systems. And most importantly, ensure the resilience, the dependability and adaptability and sustainability of our structure so that even future generations will use and benefit from it. As I was, it is one thing I learned that uh, uh, we have to always also remember kung minsan pagka nag-iisip tayo at pinag-uusapan natin ang isang proyekto, yan sabi maganda ito. We will build a uh, building or we will build a bridge. And uh, we will do it this way, itong design, ganyan, ganyan. Okay, so what you also, what people sometimes forget is that the decision that we make today, we will have to live with for the next 80 to 100 years. So wag, nyo lang, wag natin lang iisipin kung ano yung maganda ngayon. Kailangan tumagal ito. Kasi hindi lang na after 10 years, di natin gigibayin yun. Ang laki-laki ng binayad natin para diyan. So it has to stay relevant. Well, first of all, it has to, be, it has to physically survive that kind of, uh, that kind of uh, time period. But more than that, that it could still, it is built and designed in such a way that, the, 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 that, that which we build, its purpose for the next 80 to 100 years. And that has always been part of the planning that we have been doing now. Napakaganda, napakalaki. Wala pang 10 years, nasira na. Or na wala pang 10 years, hindi na kailangan. Uh, uh, sayang lang yung, uh, yung, yung ginamit na pondo para doon. At hindi na nakatulong sa taong bayan. So, yun ang dapat lagi nating alalahan. Eh. Kung minsan nakakalimutan natin, because we only think of what the project that we want to do now. Let us say, whatever, especially every large-scale project, what we now call flagship projects, those will have to last for, what, three generations after us. Pero gandahan natin at gawin natin tama at pag-isip mabuti para hanggang sa katagalan ay uh, nakakatulong pa sa taong bayan. So as we look forward to the future, it is my hope that the Department of Public Works and Highways will remain true and responsive to the needs of the, peop of the Filipino people as you have done for the last 125 years. Let us listen to our people's voices, work with them so we can harness their strengths and synergize our efforts for the good. With all of us working together, I am sure we can form a united front and build infrastructure that will not only improve the landscape, but enrich and empower the entire citizenry. Mabuhay ang lahat ng kawani, ng kagahuran, ng paggawain at langsa ng bayan. Mabuhay kayong lahat and uh, happy 125th anniversary. Maraming salamat sa inyo. Mr. President, at this point, may we request the President to kindly grant us for a photo opportunity. May we invite on the stage the DPWH Under Secretaries, and may we request the Assistant Secretaries to please prepare.
Thank you, undersecretaries. Please exit to your left. Now, the assistant secretaries. Regional directors, please prepare. Thank you, Assistant Secretaries. Now, the Regional Directors. May we request the Unified Project Management Office Directors and Bureau Directors please prepare. Thank you, Regional Directors. Now may we call on the Unified Project Management Office Directors together with the Bureau of Directors. Service Directors, please prepare. Thank you, OPMO Directors and Bureau Directors. Please exit the right part of the stage. Now, the Service Directors. Thank you, service directors. And that concludes our program proper. May we now request Secretary Manuel Bonoan together with His Excellency to join in the diorama exhibit. Officials, kindly stay on your seats. To all the officials, please stay on your respective seats. We would like to request everyone to please remain seated until the President has left the venue.
Sa ngala ng pamunuan at hanay ng manggagawa ng DPWH, maraming salamat po, mahal na Pangulong Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr.